Uh, hello guys, welcome back. We're going to get right into it this time. Money put into a checking account is called, this is called demand deposit. Another important thing to note about demand deposit is that the money can be withdrawn. I'm not going to go over the other three options. We have these on our Quizlet, on Quizlet, which we've linked, and it'll just take way too long if I consistently go over all four options. The person authorized to write checks is the maker. This is the one that's actually paying the money. The payee is the one who receives the money, okay? This can also be referred to as the payor, the payor, the one who's paying the money. A check written by the bank on its own funds is a cashier's check. A certified check is when it's written on someone on someone else's funds and the bank makes sure that the person actually has enough money to pay the check. And this goes perfectly well into the next question. A personal check that the bank guarantees to be good is the certified check because the bank has certified um, that person's check. Now on to question 19. The blank can be purchased at a bank, service stations, and supermarkets to individuals who do not wish to use cash and do not have a checking account. Sorry for the slow zoom out, but this these long questions, I don't like it. Um, it is the money order. So if you uh, don't have like a bank account, you can basically, it's like a prepaid check basically. So you just um, pay the money and then they'll give you um, this, uh, this like note thing where uh, whoever you give that uh, money order to can uh, redeem the money. Um, for deposit only is an example of this is an example of restrictive endorsement, blank endorsement, special endorsement, and secondary endorsement. This is called restrictive endorsement because it's only for deposit. And we have a quiz that already go over these three types of endorsement. The process of matching your checkbook register with the bank statement is called transfer confirmation, re reconciliation, or evaluation. This is called a reconciliation. Uh, we have uh, this in our quizlet as well. Uh, I'm pretty sure at least. Normally checks will not be honored after six months. There's something which you just have to know six months. Which of the following factors will not impact the cost of your auto insurance? Driving violations, use of the car, color of the car, age of the driver. I think that this one is pretty obvious. Color of the car will not impact the cost of your auto insurance. Next one. All of the following are examples of employee benefits except um, this one is just transportation, right? All these things. Um, if your parents work, you they probably receive these following benefits. Uh, they probably don't receive transportation benefits. We also go over employee benefits in our, one of our quizlets that are linked on our website. The equation for simple interest is, okay, principal minus, nope, it's this one, right? Principal times rate times time. We go over simple interest in multiple videos. You can take a look at those if you don't know this. Stop payment order is... A stop payment order is a request that the bank not cash or process a, spe a specific check. This also just makes sense from the way that it's uh, written, right? Stop payment. Don't pay, right? Don't pay. Don't pay. So um, you can kind of think of it like this, right? A request that the bank not cash or process a specific check, right? Because you're stopping it. So the next one is question 27. The blank on a check allows you to write the purpose of the check. This is the memo. And lastly, NSF is printed on a check that has bounced. When a check is bounced, it means that the... So this stands for non-sufficient funds. NSF stands for non-sufficient sufficient funds. Um, funds, And then this is why the check has been bounced, meaning that it's been like bounced... Um, so you can kind of think of it as you pay the check then the bank is like, and then the bank is like bounce the check. Like it's not clear the check because you don't have the sufficient funds to pay for the check. Now question 29, the blank lists payments and deposits processed by the bank during a month and the balance of your checking account according to the bank. Now this one, just from the word itself, is quite simple. This is a bank statement, right? The bank is giving you a statement listing payments, deposits, et cetera. Just think of it like that again. We cover all of these statements in a Quizlet that I have that, well, at least will very soon be on our website. Um, the person authorized to write checks on an account is the, again, the one who's actually paying the money. That's the maker. Um, 31, the checking account number. Um, the checking account number is the number that appears in bank coding at the bottom of a check. When you receive a check at the bottom, you're going to get a couple of different numbers and um, this is usually where the checking account number will be. So it's B. Anyways, uh, that wraps it up for this video.